Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is my Road to Glory team. Pretty much the final episode this will be, guys, because I am done with this team. As uh, some of you are probably well aware, I am on Xbox now, but I do love the PS3 still, but Xbox is my preferred choice at the moment, so I'm on that one. So this will just be the final stats, basically. I'll run you through the team as we finish it. Let's just get it into a respectable team. Let's put Ben Arthur back in the team for starters. Puts on the chemistry, but he just needs to be there. Is that probably the best team? Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, we didn't get a last. Let's just sort this out. I should have done this before, but there we go. That is the final team. There we go. That's better. So in goal, we had Mandanda. Of course, picked him up for 700 coins. as a bargain buy back when I bought him. He was the goalkeeper we had. Right mid, we had Kelmay or whatever that is. 800 coins. Decent formation, decent stats. Good overall player. Now, Mexis cost me a lot more, didn't he? 6,500. He was newly transferred to Milan when I bought him, so he was going for a little bit more, and he was, an up, he was a bit upgraded version from the um, Roma, was it he used to play for, version. So we bought him. He's a he's a really good player, actually. Yeah, he pays for a defender. It's always nice to see. So he was our centre-back with, of course, William Gallas. He also cost us a lot more, but as you rem if you remember, he had a shitload of contract, so that was good for Road to Glory, of course. You need the contracts. Helps you a lot. So he was a very good player to have. At left back, we had the Ali Sissoko guy. He bought him for a thousand coins. He has some decent contract on him as well. 88 pace for a left back is insane. Defending is pretty good as well. Moving on to the left mid, we had an informed guy, Munier, or something along those lines. 3,900 by now, I think it was. He's decent overall stats. You can see there for an 81, it's not too shabby. Moving on to the two guys we had in the middle, we had, middle, we had Arnold Movember. Another informed guy, pretty decent stats as you can see there. Very defensive player, of course he is a central defensive mid, but we are playing him in the centre mid position. 2,500, can't really say no. Johan Gorkov, brilliant player, picked on for 2,800 with some decent contrast and decent formation. As you can see his stats are pretty darn good. Moving on to the right mid guy, did amazing for us, 5 star skill mover of course. Ben Arthur. I'm not too sure he will be in uh, FIFA 12 because he hasn't really played much, has he? But we can have fun with him in FIFA 11 still. 82 at pace, 82 at dribbling. That's brilliant for a skiller. Need to have those stats, really. And there he is, the man himself, Brian, served us well. 87 pace. He's actually a really good player for an 81. Worth buying if you're looking to just buy a random strike. How much did he cost me? 700 coins, guys. Could not really say no, could I? Benzema was the other striker we had at the end here, 4,500 of course, he is a beast, not really much else I can say about him. Arsene Wenger was our manager, we had an 81 rated team, 4.5 star. The bench consisted of Sacco, Valbuena, Menez, Kabai, Payat, Omri, Gaimero, who obviously did go into the team at some point. Rufia, Planas, Sissoko, Biabiani and Gomez. That is our team, guys. So there you go. Let's just have a little look at the stats while we're here. See who did what. So goals-wise, who was our top goal scorer? Well, of course, Jimmy Briant. 76 goals in 40 games. That is absolutely a crazy goal tally. Almost two in, two in every game, but not quite. Guy Mero also did pretty good there. Ben Arthur whacking in the goals. It's not, that's about it, really. 13 goals there, 8 goals, 7, 5, 5. You can pretty much see for yourself. No one really did amazing down the bottom here. A couple didn't get a goal at all. He is a right back to be fair. And of course, he's a goalkeeper. Be honest, it's a bit disappointing with 11 games. He just played the one game, but there you go. He did not pick up a goal. Now, who played the most for us? Who was the most consistent? Ben Arthur, of course. Probably my favourite player. With, uh, maybe Jimmy Briand. But what a player. So, yeah, that's pretty much the final stats, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Road to Glory. It's come to an end now. So, I will, might do one in FIFA 12. I'm not too sure. But I will be giving away this team. And as you are well aware, it's on PS3. So I'll be doing that in another video. I won't do that one now because I have to sort that one out. Uh, some uh, some way of doing it. I might give it out all as one team. Or leave in the comments what you reckon would be preferred. Give them out as like twos or threes or something like that. Or a whole team maybe. You choose. Thumbs it up. See what gets the best rated. And I will do that. So thank you very much for watching this Road to Gory series. I will be back with some more episodes shortly, maybe some pack openings, maybe something else. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you very much, and bye.